Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code Masters. Here we will solve Code Forces Div 1 Div 2 problems. We will upload videos after the end of every contest with links to the solutions. Today's contest will be Code Forces Global Round 1. Let's get into problem A. For detailed problem statement, you can follow the link mentioned in the description below. I will give you a brief idea what the problem wants to say. You are given a number n, which is of the form a1 b to the power k minus 1 plus a2 b to the power k minus 2 plus dot 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 a k. You are given a number n of this format and what you need to tell is whether this number is an even number or an odd number. So how to check that? You simply do n modulo 2. So this will be your answer. If n modulo 2 is equal to equal to 0, that means it's an even number, otherwise it's an odd number. So what it basically turns out to be that you need to find a1 b to the power k minus 1 plus a2 b to the power k minus 2 plus dot 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 a k this whole modulo 2. Now the problem is if you look into the constraints you will see that if you calculate this whole number in one go, it will result in overflow. So, what we can use is, we can use the distributive property of modulo to solve this problem. Now you can see that we have summation terms here. Okay. So, for these things, we can use this property of modulo which says a plus b modulo m is equal to a modulo m plus b modulo m then that whole modulo m. So, for these terms, we can bring this modulo inside and can solve it. But, you can also see that we have multiplication here as well as here. So, for these as well, we can use the multiplicative distributive property of modulo, which says A multiplied by B modulo M is equal to A modulo M multiplied by B modulo M and the whole modulo M. So, this is the main idea. We will be bringing this modulo inside, not only in this additive terms, but also in this multiplicative terms. Now let's look into the input format. We have given the base b. Okay, so we have taken the base in b. Okay, now we have given the number of digits. So we have stored that in an array called digit k. Okay, so now the sum is initialized to 0 and power is initialized to 1. Now power is initialized to 1 because b to the power 0 is 1 which will be in this case. Now we will be running a loop Okay, from k minus 1 till 0 and what we will be doing in each loop, we will be calculating this factor. So in first iteration, we will be calculating this. In second iteration, we will be calculating the previous term and we will add these two. So like that, we will build our solution. So let's get into that. We will write a for loop. For i is equal to k minus 1, i greater than equals to 0 i minus minus so in this we will iterate through this and what we will do is we will calculate our sum so what this sum will be every time you can see the sum is going to be that digit multiplied with the power ok so in the first case what is the power we are storing the power in power variable so we will take the digit Okay, and we will multiply it with power. So this is the thing that we need to do, but as we said, we will be moving the modulo inside. So we will apply a modulo here. Now we need to update this power, because first time it's 1, in the next iteration it needs to be b, second time it needs to be b square. So what? how will we update power? power is equals to power into b. Now as we said, we will be moving the modulo inside the multiplicative terms as well. So we will apply modulo to here as well. So when this loop ends, our sum will have a value 0 or 1. Now if sum is 0, then the answer is even and if it is 1, then the answer is odd. So this was all about this problem. For the next problem, 
see our next video